Hey G's and G's Ets, this is BQ. Thanks for swinging by the channel and click and play. While you're in the clicking mood, please click that thumbs up button and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. The goal is 2.5K by Bound for Glory. Why 2.5K? Well, that's what I'm on pace to do. I'm really hoping to do 3,000 by Bound for Glory so that when media time rolls around, and they, then the uh, stars of the company are doing their interviews, promoting the pay-per-view. Hopefully, I can play a role in landing some of those big interviews. I've already got dialogue established with guys like EC3 and James Storm. So, it wouldn't be too difficult for me to reach out to them. But I want the channel to have a certain amount of momentum. When you're talking about having them come on a show before the big show. You feel me? So, Global Force Wrestling fans, hit that subscribe button. And what I want to talk to you guys about this morning, and this is all strictly speculation, it's all fantasy booking, but sometimes, sometimes fantasy booking is fun. It's not my favorite thing in the world to do, but it's it's still fun sometimes. So the DCC Twitter account the other day posted a, or tweeted out, I should say, a picture of the DCC masks and... I think little emojis that look like DCC masks, and then and then the little emoji with the with the fingers on the chin, like hmm, like maybe they're cooking something up. Maybe this team isn't as dead as we might think it is. As I'm watching Impact, and I watched it last night, and I'm recording this Saturday morning. I woke up early to do this for you guys. I watched it last night because I wasn't able to watch the night before. James Storm had a very random match with Loki. And he lost the match due to the number numbers games against LAX. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking about the tweet, and I'm saying, mm, does does James Storm bring the DCC back? What makes more sense to me is that if the DCC were to return, that Bram and Kingston would return with a third member. Maybe they do it attacking Storm. Maybe they pretend to be on Storm's side for a while and then attack him. Because if you think the DCC storyline and everything was one of the worst things they've done in a while. Not because they didn't have potential. It had potential to be what LAX is right now. But it was just done so poorly. They were booked so poorly. One of the problems was feuding with the Hardy so early. Because the whole Broken Hardy stage, if you went against the Hardys... It was basically your burial. Um, you saw what happened to Decay, and Decay was the hottest thing they had going. So, I think that was really bad for the DCC. They they were losing ridiculously. They even had the the time where they were wrestling Jesse Goddard's one by one every week, and Goddard's beats. Uh, and they they had the numbers game and everything. And Jesse Goddard's had no momentum, no nothing, no storyline. He beats Kingston, beats Bram, and I don't even think he had the James Storm match. Because, I mean, why would he? He just beat two out of the three by himself. And, you know, they teased dissension for a little bit. And when they did break up, it was just, it was really rushed. You know, they almost looked like they were going to kick Kingston out of the group. But then it was, they turned on James Storm. So then James Storm eventually leaves, leaves the group because he wants to chase the world title. Kicks both their asses. And then that's the last we ever see of them. They didn't show up the next week to try to get involved in his match. So the whole DCC angle and storyline just wasn't well done. You know, they lost more than they won by far. But I really liked them. I thought it had potential. I really thought they could have been what the LAX is right now. And James Storm had revealed that the DCC was initially supposed to be a, a babyface team that that did help James Storm... Um, on his path to becoming the world champion, but they were also going to continue the storyline with Bram and, and decay and why, you know, because you remember decay kidnapped Bram, put him in the back of the truck. And then we never really saw him. They kind of try to play it off down the line where Bram's like, you, I remember what you did to me. And then decay and DCC had that match at a open fight night, which I believe DCC won. They needed that win. But just just really poorly booked. So I'm kind of curious. You know, this is a this is more of a discussion question. So I'm kind of curious what you guys think. If uh, you want to see the DCC come back, Kingston did end up in the uh, battle royal and the gauntlet. Had new music. Had a new look. 
you know, the music could have been random wrestler number five from the back. We don't, we don't really know that, but I just, uh, it was good to see him on TV. It really was. So I, I want to know what you guys think. If you want to see the DCC back and we're just fantasy booking, having some fun here, because most likely whatever we say here is going to be completely inaccurate. But, um, what do you guys think? You think Bram and Kingston are going to come back as the DCC as a two man group? Come back with a third mystery guy. Is James Storm going to hook back up with them to try to feud with LAX? Or are they going to jump James Storm like they should have a long time ago? Or will we see something at Bound for Glory regarding all these guys? So we don't, we don't really know. But I am curious to hear what you guys think. We're just, we're just shooting this shit here, fantasy booking. Because we don't know what the hell they're doing. And um, if you read spoilers, if you know what's going on, I encourage you not to leave those in the comments. Anyone who leaves spoilers of any kind always get blocked from leaving comments in the future. And that's not what we're all about here on the channel. We're just, we handle Impact Wrestling as we see it on TV. So, leave your thoughts, folks. Sorry if I'm not super well-spoken this morning. I woke up nice and early just to do this because I got to do the impact review later. And I'm still half asleep. I took a sleeping pill last night, so I'm uh, still I'm hanging in there, but I'm, I'm half asleep. So leave your thoughts in the comments. Again, hit the thumbs up and subscribe button, and we'll talk to you guys soon.